Alright, for those of you guys using Peter McKinnon's Lightroom preset packs, there's a exciting new feature of the latest Lightroom CC uh, release that lets you actually use them directly as presets in your phone. Um, we've been using them as a kind of a, a hack for a bit, and uh, now there's a direct button to use them just as a preset like you would in any other version of Lightroom. So you do need Lightroom CC, so if you're using CC Classic, you're going to need to go ahead and install Lightroom CC. Uh, it's super easy, just open your Creative Cloud uh, uh, app and just click on install. It will install the app really quickly. I'm going to let that happen. We'll jump ahead here as soon as it is done installing. Okay, now that we've got Lightroom CC installed, we're going to go ahead and click open. Again, this only works in uh, Lightroom CC, which is pretty cool. Um, there's some neat features in it. I actually think I'm going to use it a little bit more than I thought it would. So anyways, it brings up to a somewhat familiar uh, interface. And down at the bottom here, you'll see this option in the develop uh, panel here to click on presets. And you can click the little dot, dot, dot button and you click import presets. And you can go in here and you can download uh, the Peter McKinnon presets and uh, wherever you've got that downloaded on your computer, you can go ahead and install them and it will put them all in here. And uh, pretty cool, you can actually create your own presets. You can move things around and decide you wanna make a preset and you all you do is go create preset and it'll ask you to save it and you can just make your own. And these two will sync uh, over to your phone when you're done, which is pretty cool. So you can see I've already put these Peter McKinnon ones here in. Uh, in I already did the, the download there, but uh, pretty simple. You just click on them and, and they go just like they would in uh, your regular Lightroom Classic CC. The cool thing about the uh, Lightroom CC though is whatever's done in here is going to sync over to your phone. So uh, without any further ado, you could actually, by the way, here, change up the presets just a little bit if you don't like exactly the way that Peter made his or or whoever you're downing lo loading them from obviously there's a lot of different people making presets that you can download but uh, you can change it up a little bit and then go create preset and say it's is your own one my new preset and uh, it will uh, sync over to your phone as well so anyways uh, that's it in a nutshell for here. I'm going to go ahead and close out of here and we will swing on over to the phone and see what we've got there. Okay, let's jump into Lightroom Mobile here. You'll see that I have the original Peter McKinnon presets that I made the fancy icons for. And uh, we'll go into Red Crush here. This is how you would use it. You would go into the original one and this is obviously just a crushed video of the Cliff some more or picture of the Vit Cliff some more and you would scroll over to previous actually you would wait for it to load up at the top see it loads with the little check icon up there and that was really all you would do here then you would actually go to your new image that you wanted to apply it to and you would just select an image and you would go down here and you would click on previous and you would click all and it would apply those filters from that previous one that you selected kind of a little bit backwards. So the cool news is that they have fixed this in the newest version. So we'll click another image and we'll go just simply now we get a presets button. We can click the presets and you'll see because I imported them all into Lightroom CC, I have them down here and I can just go to Red Crush here and it will just do it or I can go to Boulevardi or whatever. And it is amazing, it is simple and uh, it really, really crushes the photos. What's also really cool is you can just save that and you can go down into the actual uh, details of each photo and just, you know, you can trim it up a little bit, make it a little bit more what you want and uh, yeah. Pretty amazing. Neat update to Adobe CC, uh, the whole package that uh, really makes your presets from anybody really, really pop. Um, amazing and uh, really stoked that it, they added it to it. All right, that's it. Enjoy.